We're now leaving Ardamantua, not even in chapter 7. Laurentis was wrong. They are not digital blades, but claws. And the beast standing in front of him was one of those with a darker hue. He was praying to see one since he heard the space marines talk about them over Vox. Ironic, I know. Parts of the car convoy of the Magos biologists got wrecked. First, one got caught in a surprise attack. Then another that fire last weapons at it, but with no effect. Laurentis tried to avoid the combat zone all his life, but he got stuck in the same place he never wanted to be part of. One servitor told the Magos to save himself, but that servitor didn't live long after that. Friendly fire was now on thanks to the servitor's malfunctioning death that fired his last weapon everywhere. Three more servitors died because of that. Two more will then die and the Magos almost got shot himself. Laurentis got himself between one of the carts of the convoy and the wall, trying to flee the massacre while also trying to reconnect with the chapter master. Oh, he was afraid. So he ran, forcing his body to its limits. The convoy manager was thrown by the beast on a fall and what? On a fall? And it fell in front of the Magos. The biologist wanted to help, but there was little he could do. He couldn't run no more. His freezing response getting the better of his flight response. The beast got close to him. The card the biologist was using be okay, was thrown up against the wall. And now he was alone. With the beast against a slimy wall. Golden Throne preserve me. He said.